It all started with an idea. An idea that we all discussed at length. <laughs> and off to the motor home show we went as our first port of call for our new home. And, and eventually found the one we'd move into. And that's exactly what we did. And the rest, as they say, is history. Yes, Happy New Year. Hope you've all had a, a really good Christmas and uh, a new year. And we're now well into 2024. So in this video, what we're going to do is go right back to when we first moved into a motorhome. And then I'm going to attempt to sort of take you on a journey all the way to where we are right now. So it's going to be a fast recap of 2023. If you've just joined us or you're new to us, completely new to us, then this video will get you right up to speed. And if you've been with us a while or started out with us, hopefully you'll enjoy this and you'll see some of the best bits, some outtakes and some unseen footage. Before we get into it, I just want to say a huge thanks to a few people. Uh, it's not something we usually do. We don't usually do shout outs, but I just felt that we needed to in this case, um, as we did set up a buy me a coffee account only a couple of months ago now. And we've also had the super thanks on YouTube sort of live. So I just wanted to say thanks to the folks that have um, bought us a coffee and said super thanks. First person on, uh, on buy me a coffee was Brian. So thanks very much. Who's the next one there, Jamie? Jackie. Jackie. Yes, Jackie on buy me a coffee. Thank you very much. And who's those two people there? Julie and Paul. Julie and Paul on buy me a coffee. So thanks to you guys for buying us a coffee. It's really appreciated. And also Susan, who has um, given us a couple of super thanks. So thanks very much. Also, just to all of you regulars that do comment regularly as well, it really is appreciated. We do like to hear your comments and uh, and we like to reply when we can. Uh, but it is getting more and more, so we can't always reply. But uh, so far, we're managing to keep up with it. Right, let's get into this video. Should be good. I haven't seen my dad about five years. Five days, not bloody five years. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, you haven't seen me for how long? I haven't seen Dad about years day. <laughs> We've gone all wrong here. We've gone all wrong. <laughs> Try again. I haven't seen my dad for five days. He took so long to do in this video. <laughs> Cheeky so and so. Right, here we go. Let's get into it. And the sorting continues. No? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got to get it done, aren't we? So I think, to be fair, most of this, I want to keep some of it. Oh, that, oh, that I won't keep. That can really? go. Really? What is yeah, that? Yeah, that's a bike stand that can get sold. So, yeah, we've got to sort through it. That is the awning. So I've got a... Inflatable. Inflatable awning. Right, I'm going to see okay. where that fits on the side of the van. And then there's a sleeping bag and all sorts of camping stuff. There's, ch there's chairs in there. What's what? Oh, that's a... That's a pop-up tent for the beach. <laughs> it's mainly camping stuff and outdoor stuff in there, so a lot of it, sure, yes. a lot of it, we'll be keeping. Yeah. So I don't want to. What? Why have we got one oar? Because a footboard. This one's yeah, a that's, a, that's a paddle, not an oar. All right. Come down. <laughs> <laughs> so I've started packing already. Most of the kitchen stuff is now done. I've only got packed away two little boxes. Everything's looking a bit of a mess at the minute. The biggest thing is my clothes, but I think I've got to put some of them on vintered. So let's just show the house. Sorry about the state it's in, but here goes. So the cupboards are tidy. We've just got to do the drawers. So going round, I've still left pictures on the wall. Um, there's three, of course. So there's nothing more I can pack in our bedroom. There's just clothes to sort out. And then we've got Jim Bob's room, which obviously it's going to take a little bit of sorting. The lounge. Hi, Jim Bob. Well, hi. 
got quite a bit of stuff on the table but most of all this pictures etc um will be packed up what are you doing you're busy yeah singing busy doing something. you're busy doing something that's good then and then we've got the conservatory, which we've kept boxes. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. We've got boxes in here. In here. Um, I've got all my craft things. All I'd say, when moving house or moving anywhere, this, you've just got to be firm and make decisions on what stuff you want to take with you. Um, so, do we reckon we'll get everything in here? No. I really don't know. All right. I've got to, this stuff's all going to go now. That's all going down to the storage unit, which we've just hired. Um, and then these are the other bits I've just pulled out that were in the garage, which are more than likely going to go back in the garage. Garage, not that garage. And Julie's still in here sorting out. Oh my goodness. This is the last night in our bed, isn't it? Yeah. In this bed, and then obviously these beds will be gone tomorrow. And so officially, it'll be our first night in the camper tomorrow, won't it? Yeah. So, but we won't actually be moving from the house until after the weekend. So that's your bed all packed up and got all your clothes here, we're sorting out what's going in the van and what's going into storage. Yeah. So the sofa has just gone. Uh, the charity's just picked up the two sofas. So here we are. Having a picnic. I've been getting a bit stressy and it started bloody pissing it down. And everything out here got wet. took Samson our cat to the cattery and finally I moved my bike out yeah. yeah let's do it this is it we're done let's get out of here as one door closes another door opens and as we got ready to move in the rain had stopped and the sun shone as one door Hurry up, love. This is not going to work. I was just about to say, as one door closes, and you're not here to close the door. As one door. As one door closes. Oh, you forgot to shut the camper door. To open the camper door, it's already bloody open. Wait a minute. All right. Door closes. closes. Another door Ta -da! opens. <laughs> Did it? <laughs> to do adventures. Anyway, right. Uh, they want to go next door, and that wants to go back to the estate agents. You're off. We're off. This is it. This is now um, life. Life in the motorhome.
Well, we've made it guys. Um, we've actually gone and done it. Welcome to Julie's DIY. Today, yeah. Since we moved into the motorhome, we've been full time. Yeah. What's your thoughts on the last week and full time in a motorhome? Good. <laughs> we got a thumbs up. After four weeks of van life, I was swapping it for bike life for a week and heading up to do the NC500 in Scotland. Bit of peace and quiet, eh, love? Because <laughs> he's going to emerge. Right, yeah. Go to emerge. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll see you in ten days. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. So we've just made it up the most dangerous road in Britain. I'll be, I'll be honest with you, it's took me about 45 minutes to an hour just to pop that on to make sure it's straight, it looks okay. Yeah, and I've only got round the window to do. Three, four corners. After getting back from the NC500, we spent a couple of more weeks on the site before we headed back to see family in Skegness. Right, um, can't hold the phone and drive at the same time, so uh, we'll catch you up at some point along the journey. Oh, let me just put that there for a second, because I'm going to check the straps on the bike, see what Samps is doing. Still asleep, look. So, uh, once back in Skegness, the van fitted perfectly on my mum's drive. Hey, you, do you want to be on YouTube? I'd love to be. Do you want to be? This is Grace and Eva. This is my brother Dan. Hello. Who are you? <laughs> Your mother. Oh, I've got it. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 He's Dorman. Yeah. <laughs> How many people can we get in a motorhome? <laughs> After you, Dan. <laughs> we should get some more neighbours in here. <laughs> keep moving in, people. Keep moving in. <laughs> can you fit in a van? Lovely. Yeah, I love it. And then we've all got a cupboard each. Okay. Oh, well. Oh. Nintendo. Oh. No, not that. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You're wrecking the 
properly. Hey, I've, I've hey. sort of, yeah, I've, that's because I've sorted that cupboard out. That's Jamie's This cupboard. is the thing, when you move, you, you, you have to open all the cupboards to sort them all out, to put yeah, them back again. Right. So I'll sort that cupboard out in a minute. Very nice. Very nice. Isn't it? It's plenty of I like this. this. That's nice. Yeah, that's I've, a nice little touch. Oh, they did like you that. pay for this? I've paid for this. She paid for this. Did she you? Did you? I love that. What do you think, girls? It's really cool. It's cool. Oh, yeah. 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 Don't take long to put it all out again. Obviously yeah. a bed. Yeah. That just pulls out from under there. Yeah. Oh. Are you happy? Yeah. So, <laughs> did you know we was coming here tonight? Yep. You know you didn't. You yes, I did. <laughs> you I didn't. don't know why. Why? Because I've done it, that's yeah, all. I know, but you didn't know until about 20 minutes ago, did you? I did. You thought you was coming to the pub? In my head. <laughs> Why, man? My head was thinking I wanted to go. Oh, was it? Yeah. And it, and it, brilliant. So and it, now it came true. Fantastic. So you manifested you sitting there in the seat watching Elvis. Yep. <laughs> What? <laughs> right at the back. Listen, yeah. All good. <laughs> Get ready for it. Getting excited. Ooh, boop. Elvis is back in the building. Oh. <laughs> well, he will be. Look at the groupies over here. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm too old to be a groupie. Yeah, never too old. <laughs> While back in Skegness, we took the opportunity to catch up with as much family as we could. Taking walks along the beach, Jamie saw an Elvis show, we went crazy in the arcades, and we went to our first wild festival. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure it can be done, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're close though, you are close. <laughs> One festival over, it was time to head to another, the Torchlight Festival in Walesby Forest. And this time, Jim Bob was with us. <laughs> that was Troy. Over the weekend, we met subscribers Colin and Teresa, and Rod and Vanessa. What do you reckon to our fancy van lights? Come on. Nigel and Fiona have just gone. What did you think to your first festival? Did you like it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Was it dancing? <laughs> Are you tired? Yes. <laughs> that last has stopped. That's what? 
At last they stopped. Who stopped? The music. The music. <laughs> I've tried enough. At one point, it's, 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 when's this going to stop? <laughs> Oh dear! The thing you is, you? Like a... you're one minute you're going like <laughs> you're going like Wah! you're up for it, and all of a sudden it's like that's it, I've had enough now. <laughs> just it's a stop, so no, <laughs> right, that's it, I've had enough. Only three days after the festival, Julie's mum passed away. We stayed on in Skegness for a few weeks longer and after the funeral we headed back to Wales. Well hello guys and welcome to the Fan Tour. Once back in Wales we gave you a Van Tour like never before. We celebrated Jew's birthday and we named our van. Ready? Right. Ready. Here we are. Drum roll. Oh. And then we got Buzz stuck. We brought you on the spot up to date news of the floods in Wales. And a good morning from Wet Wales. This is Richard Vincent, your uh, sturdy reporter reporting for RJ and JT News. We are in North Wales right now and the rain has been going on for nearly 24 hours solid at a hefty pace. Going through a bloody river. Look all that flood. After yesterday's storm and traditional rain, the sun has now come out. We were more fortunate here and the river although raging didn't break far over its banks. Here are the site which is further up the hill. The water has resided fairly quickly and as you can see the water that was flowing here yesterday has now gone. Until next time where we hopefully will have better news to report. Thank you for watching and see you soon. We also brought you Jim Bob's carpool sing-along and Jew's laundry liaisons. Hi guys and welcome to the carpool sing-along and I've got a special guest here with me today and it's Mother. So today we're going to sing The Ring of Fire by Tony Cash that you know and we're going to sing it to you guys. So here it goes.
The taste of love is sweet And hearts like ours meet I can put you like a child Just finished up Mrs. Robinson's. Um, I must have a look to see what the time is because I haven't got any idea. Um, will it tell me the time on there? Um, so goodness knows how long I've been here. Um, but all the washing, all the washing's done. There's a big bag of um, underwear as well. So um, yeah, all the washing's done. I got chatting to a lovely lady called Pam. Um, I said I'd bought her a Canadian um, blanket. Bloody hell, it's nearly half past one. Um, I said I'd bought her a Canadian blanket, so she was in there getting it washed and then going home and putting it on the line. Um, lovely lady, she has her cereals in the morning, varied from bran, wheat -bix. Um She's not keen on cornflakes, um, and she has it with Homes Under the Hammer. She doesn't like her breakfast early. Um, yeah, she likes crime programmes as well and real life documentaries. Um, her husband left her when she was 42 uh, with the two boys to bring up. Um, she did a sterling job. She met James. They had 13 years together. Um, unfortunately, James died of cancer. Um, and now she's got another friend um, who they go on holiday and it's more companionship. So, yeah, good luck to Pam. Next job. We took Buzz in to get an auto term diesel heater fitted, ready for the winter. Look at this, what do you reckon? It's a high-rise motorhome. Oh, you can feel that. Oh, oh you could walk right underneath. Wow. Look at that. Look at you. Well done. Oh, there's, there's the fuel line. Yeah, that's a uh, quite a big old. Oh, you have to drill there then, isn't it? Yeah. So what's, yeah, what's, what's that? That's air in. That's the air in. For combustion. And we ended the year with our northern road trip, starting in Skegness and the first stop was Scarborough. We spent four days there and caught up with some family and friends and then moved on to Staines for a one night stopover. The next day we were on the road to Newcastle. 
we visited our friends in the northeast who invited us to a cracking charity night. And we also saw the Durham Luminaire. Why are you, man? After four days of fun in the northeast, we stayed over in a lay-by near Berwick for a night. had a peaceful night by Cramond Beach and the next morning drove into Edinburgh to see the Christmas market. Then we were on the road again, driving further north. We had planned to stop in the Cairngorm Mountains, but the weather had other ideas. So we headed towards the coast and the lovely town of Stonehaven where we had a night parked by the sea, listening to the waves. The following morning, we walked along the front into town, where Jim Bob had a jamming session, and we followed a recommendation to a great little coffee shop. From Stonehaven, we travelled to the furthest point north that we were going to on this trip. Melbourne in Mauritia. It is beautiful up here. And it was so lovely to catch up with Mark, Norna, and their seven cats. Six. After five brilliant days, it was now time to begin heading south again. We travelled most of the day and into the evening, arriving in a lay-by just outside Moffat after dark. It was well worth it for the view we woke up to the next morning. After a couple of hours of looking around Moffat, we moved on to Windermere. I don't think we'll get too bothered tonight. With, there is another van parked up just there. I think they're here for the night as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, photo bomb, photo yeah. bomb, photo bomb. Photo. <laughs> Look at our face as well. It's delighted. <laughs> we spent two frosty nights here, taking in the sights of Windermere and Ambleside. It was time to move on again to Macclesfield for our daughter's 30th birthday. turned up at our stop for the night we made it and uh, yeah we're on the side of a reservoir uh, sun going down I mean is that not stunning or what the next day we all went by train to Manchester to celebrate Jade's birthday right, you with your chopsticks oh. that's Tom <laughs> you don't want to be on no no, no. <laughs> Found them. 
We were just celebrating that we'd lost you all. We've just died. <laughs> We've lost the kids. Hey! Hey! <laughs> we're out in the snow cool go for a little walk along this path yeah <laughs> whoa hey mum got you from behind <laughs> hey mum hey you're supposed to be flying at me we're supposed to be on the same side we're supposed to be getting gym bob yeah oh you can get me or dad <laughs> yeah who are you getting go on then after a great weekend in Mac, we moved on to North Wales, where disaster struck. Buzz broke down and we were stranded for over a week. Well, we've now got Buzz back on the road again, thankfully. Just picked him up from the garage and uh, yeah, all is good. Once we were finally back on the road, we visited friends in Swindon. The madman of Wendover. Friends in Workshop and in Ruskington. And finally, back to Skiggy for Christmas. Hooray! So now you're all caught up with the first six months of us living in a motorhome. And if you want to know everything that really happened, then check out our channel and all our previous vlogs. Wow, I love that. I hope you did too. In the next video, we are making plans for 2024. So stay tuned, get subscribing. See you in the next one, guys.